Okay, so this is a question that definitely involves a trap. All right, it's number 18 out of 22. I know that uh, if you're in the hard module, you probably saw question 17. That one was really easy. I was expecting a trap. There wasn't one. Here, there definitely is. So I don't know what's going on, but um, they're hoping that you pick something like choice D. And the reason this is a trap is it's it's basically just you take your 11,863,808 square yards and you use the conversion. So you're like, oh, well, if one mile is 1,760 yards, then we're just going to divide, right? So we'll take um, uh, 11, 8, 6, 3, 8, 0, 8, and we divide by 1760. And I'm pretty sure it gives us that. Let me just make sure. 11, 8, 6, 3, 8, 0, 8, divided by 1760. And yeah, it's the 67, uh, 6740.8. So this is wrong. It's too easy. Uh, there's not going to be just like a single step of division that you need to do for something that's supposed to be like a hard question like this. Um, the real giveaway, though, is that the units aren't actually the same, right? They're giving us a conversion of miles to yards, but notice they gave us square yards. That's a different thing. So we need to deal with that. This is a common SAT trap where they kind of convert between a, a distance, a single distance, to a, an area, which kind of behaves a little bit differently. So what we really want to do is try to understand the conversion between a square mile and a square yard. So let's draw a very simple square. So if I made this one mile on a side, right, it's a square, then this would be one square mile. Hooray. One times one is one, right? That's where it's coming from. Now we can also label this using yards, right? Because if one mile is 1,760 yards, then the length and width can also be written in yards, 1,760 on each side. But now if we took the area, we would be multiplying 1,760 times 1,760. So that's going to be different. So 1,760 times 1,760 is, oh boy, I'm not even going to be able to write in the box. Uh, let's see. Uh, three zero nine seven six zero zero. So that's just to be clear, three million ninety seven thousand six hundred square yards. So very different than the conversion that they gave us originally. That's the number we need to use. We need to take our eleven million eight hundred and sixty three thousand eight hundred and eight square yards. I'll write it like this and divide it by one square mile, which is 3,097,600 square yards, and that's going to give us our answer. So, ugh, this is such big numbers. I'm so afraid of entering this wrong. 863808 and divided by 3097600 is 3.83. And that's an answer, and thankfully that is the answer. So even if you do it right, these numbers are so big that you start to get nervous, but you got the calculator, so hopefully just double check you're entering everything correctly. Um, maybe if you made this mistake and you picked something like choice D, you will have just learned your lesson the hard way. But that's okay, because it's a practice test, right? So uh, a lot of times on the SAT, this is why you take practice tests or do practice questions, is some traps are so memorable that if you fall for them once, you never fall for them again. You're like, oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe they did that to me. I think that this is one of those cases where it's like very memorable that they messed with the unit in this way. And I, I think they're going to do it again. It's at least very likely. So be on the lookout for it. And if you see a question that's involving unit conversion and it comes late in a section where we expect the hard questions to be, you're going to be on the lookout for this kind of trap and just... Break it down, try to understand it on a simple level, and you'll be able to get it right. It's just about actually pausing to think about the trap so that you can avoid it.